Today's Bible study is titled, Train Your Replacements. For a number of years, a saying in corporate America has asserted the importance of training your replacement. The primary reason for such is sustainability. Example, making sure that things continue appropriately and with excellence when you are no longer around. But as with many such sayings, this principle was around a long time before some corporate icon seemingly coined the phrase, and, as usual, it was something that God said first in the Bible. Therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that you have heard of me among many witnesses, the same you commit to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also, to Timothy 2 verses 1 to 2. Let's break this down. Essentially, as pertains to what the Bible proclaims to believers in this dispensation of the grace of God, we are to take the things that the Apostle Paul taught and faithfully teach others. This is to be aided by those who are elders. Example, those who are holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince Titus 1 verse 9. And all of this is to be done knowing that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness to Timothy 3 verse 16. To center this in the revelation intended for us in this dispensation of grace, we are to further study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth to Timothy 2 verse 15. Please note that by rightly dividing, we arrive at the revelation that God intends for the church, which is his body, in this mystery dispensation of the grace of God, in particular rightly dividing between the prophetic message intended for Israel, his earthly, prophetic, covenant people, and that mystery message intended for the body of Christ, his heavenly, mystery, and grace people, and established in correct understanding by right division as students of the word, we are to identify others who potentially have the ability and commitment to likewise be students and teach them so they can do likewise. This cannot be stressed too much. Part of why there is so much ignorance failed sustainability of understanding the rightly divided word today is a failure of faithful Bible students and particularly church elders to train your replacements. Believer, train your replacements. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.